Hi, this video is going to go over the aggregate expenditure line in reference to the 45 degree line on the graph with real GDP and real aggregate expenditure. So when you draw the 45 degree line, it's just going to be a line at 45 degrees and it shows you at every point where real aggregate expenditure equals real GDP. So we're going to label that as Y equals AE. So then we have to draw our aggregate expenditure lines. And so what happens is we have some positive amount of consumption that occurs regardless of what real GDP is in the economy. And then as real GDP increases, we see consumption increasing. Also, we have a planned investment amount going on in the economy regardless of what GDP is. So we can add that in. This is C plus I. We also have government spending, C plus I plus G, as well as net exports, C plus I plus G plus NX. So this shows how aggregate expenditure can be different from real GDP if these points aren't equal. Where these lines cross, or where this line crosses in particular, is the equilibrium amount, where aggregate expenditure is equal to real GDP. So if we aren't at that point in our economy, then we aren't in equilibrium. So let's talk about that for a second. As you probably could guess, aggregate expenditure could either be higher or lower than this 45 degree line which shows us equilibrium. So let's first imagine that aggregate expenditure is higher than real GDP. So what's going on here? We're spending more in the economy than we're producing. So if we're spending more we're consuming more, our expenditure is more. What's going on is we're buying more stuff in the economy than is being produced. So in this case, business inventories drop. Businesses have inventories saved up over time, and since we're spending more than is being produced, these inventories get used up. Businesses have less stock in their warehouse, that sort of thing. Because these inventories are being used up, businesses want to replace them. They replace them by producing more stuff, so real GDP goes up. And that should make sense, because aggregate expenditure is greater than real GDP. That results in an increase in GDP. Now what about the other side? If aggregate expenditure is less than GDP, then we actually have a buildup of inventories. So businesses are storing more than they had planned on storing. This means that they're going to restrict their production because they have too much inventory and they can't sell it. As they reduce their production, we see real GDP drop. And this should make sense. If aggregate expenditure is less than this equilibrium GDP amount, we're going to see real GDP drop.